thank you very much. Uh, our worthy speaker, Mr. George Sebastio, is with us. Uh, I would uh, like to introduce him first. Uh, he is an internationally renowned information communication technology speaker in the subject of cybersecurity, blockchain, AI, IoT, and big data. Over his 30 years of ICT experience, he contributed significantly in the realm of cyber safety and security in different domains. He has been the speaker at numerous international conferences with the topics including the ICS security, ICT security, business continuity, ICT architecture, wireless security, and cybersecurity. Today, he will talk about AI implications on the cybersecurity. So, uh, Mr. George, a very warm welcome. You can start now. Uh, sure. Uh, it's my pleasure to be here. Uh, first, I apologize for being in a noisy environment. Uh, also, with uh, lack of internet since I'm on the road, so but I did manage to get at least a wireless connection that is decent enough. I hope that there's not too much noise while I will do my, my discussion. Uh, first, uh, AI actually has very serious implement implications for cybersecurity, uh, both on the attack side as well as on the defense side uh, for many reasons, because uh, in today's uh, information-driven world, data is the key element uh, for uh, decision-making. As far back as uh, about 10 years ago, I introduced an approach towards uh, cybersecurity, what I call a cybersecurity framework, known as the A6 of cybersecurity. So each A represents a key element of cybersecurity. The first A is for assess. Uh, the second A is for architect. Uh, the third A is for apply, which is implement. Uh, the fourth A is for administer. Uh, the fifth A is for awareness, and the sixth A is for agility. Now, AI uh, does not need or is not required in all the elements, but certainly is required in some elements of the A. The assess part, AI can play an extremely important element in compiling the data that is driven uh, within the assessment of the risk factors that are associated with cybersecurity. AI does not have to play a role in either architect or apply, although you may design AI elements into the architecture. So you are not really using AI at this stage yet to architect the cybersecurity system, but certainly that may come later in the future as AI matures further. However, AI uh, plays an extremely important role in the administer part, which is what you do in cybersecurity on a day-to-day basis. It plays an important role in the awareness component to give you positioning of the risk factors. And it definitely it plays an important role in the awareness uh, as well as agility. So how to respond uh, quicker to a cyber attack. Uh, if we go back quite a number of years, we realized that the problem why AI became important in the defense side is the fact that, for example, the number of viruses that were being created on a daily basis was simply too many and the signatures were not, not able to keep up. So that really means even if you were going to update your signatures every five minutes, every uh, 10 minutes, what would really happen is that you would not have a proper response to the new viruses being created. So that really means AI could start playing an important role and helping you understand the attacks uh, that the antivirus signatures uh, were not able to, to respond to. So that means you're starting to do aspects associated with behavior response. Now, if you have antivirus obviously started by being in the endpoint part of the security, but eventually we moved it to gateway uh, email or internet access gateway. That really means that products like, for example, Sibari, which eventually got bought by Microsoft um, almost uh, seven years or so ago, played an extremely important role in which the inference between four or up to eight antivirus engines was compiled together to determine 
a risk factor associated with data being sent in across the gateway or an email system or other, otherwise. The second area in the defense where AI plays an extremely important role is in the SOC or Security Operations Center. Initial versions of SOC, what we sometimes call SOC 1.0, SOC 2.0, and now SOC 3.0. Up uh, initial versions of SOC were simply based on uh, SIM uh, technology. So simple incident management and response associated. Very similar to the issues that we had in the antivirus are being found in the SOC uh, response issues. That really means we are compiling now attack data coming from so many sources, but not being able to determine what is the important data to respond to or whether it's really an attack taking place based on the information that is being compiled by the correlation engine on the SOC. So you can say that the AI engine that we introduced in the modern version 3.0 SOC play an extremely important role and create kind of a autopilot or co-pilot that complement the existing correlation rules that already exist. Beyond that, uh, the AI can now also start playing an important role even in training and awareness. As you know, we need to start compiling uh, the training skills and profiles both at the end user level as well as administration level. So that really means that AI can help us decide what is the training um, that is more effective and produces the best results and what are the areas that need to be addressed uh, to have a complete uh, uh, solution in the environment. All the areas where AI has an extremely important element is in the area also of threat uh, management, which plays an important role in how we model uh, the modern side of our attacks as, as they take place. So far, I have mentioned that AI plays an important role in the area of cyber defense. And in, what AI is actually doing is helping you understand uh, the data that is not clear to the average cybersecurity person because there's simply too much data to handle. So many have used data analytics or data scientists in the past but even this is not enough. So AI with machine learning goes beyond big data to create a complete incidence response system that is much more effective in a modern uh, SOC uh, 3.0. This is on the cyber defense side. On the cyber attack side, uh, AI is playing an extremely important role as well by helping you uh, create a better attack models uh, that were simple, uh, not possible before, and are driven uh, by uh, data. Uh, several examples of this, including being able to impersonate somebody's voice. Today, with AI, uh, if you record the biometric voice of a person, you can, uh, with as little as 30 seconds or even less of that voice, you'll be able to replay that voice or the biometric voice of that person. That means you'll be able to impersonate that verse, person. So it means in a cyber attack scenario, by being able to create more modern cyber attack uh, vectors, this plays an important uh, role. In the last uh, three plus years, we have seen the birth of a new technology uh, that is uh, infecting a lot of our social media that we sometimes refer to as deep fakes. So deep fakes, again, is a, an area of uh, deception in which we can generate data that appears to be real, but this time it's not just voice data. It's actually complete end-to-end -end video data. So we can replace uh, statements that have been said by key individuals and completely destabilize a situation at a country level uh, in the position by distributing it on social media. We can affect the impact uh, of elections or even other important course um, uh, of uh, action. Now, there is a new technologies, of course, that have been also been introduced in which uh, it helps us detect impersonation at the voice level as well as impersonation of deepfakes in video. However, this technology is still 
uh, need substantially to mature as we are still in the early days of being able to achieve this in a very uh, effective way. As uh, we move forward, um, I do believe that AI uh, plays an extremely key role in the area of cybersecurity, what it happens to be on the attack side and creating new, more modern cyber weapons, or in the defense side, in which it helps us defend against these attacks in a much more innovative way by being able to address information that we do not recognize as being potentially dangerous in our environment. I do believe as well that AI by itself is not going to be sufficient as the tool. It's simply one of the various tools that will be available against the modern uh, cybersecurity scientists as they defend the modern IT infrastructure of things like, for example, smart cities or critical infrastructure in a country or even at the cyber warfare uh, level as well. So other technologies that I see playing an extremely important role beyond AI, uh, they'll include the technologies like, for example, fuzzing, which helps us to populate and identify risk areas that privately were not previously identified as potential risk against a specific objects, um, like a critical infrastructure objects. Uh, technologies like, for example, uh, blockchain, which helps us add extra elements of trust uh, that simply were not possible before. And this is elements of trust without a central authority. Other technologies that I see extremely playing a important role as well as AI is technologies like uh, quantum computing. And the same area here applies as I talked about AI. Uh, both AI as quantum computing uh, can be used both on the defense side as well as on the cyber attack side. On the cyber defense side, uh, quantum technologies can help us create quantum encryption, which creates a one-time bad scenario, almost making uncryptable or unbreakable cryptology. On the cyber attack side, uh, quantum computing will help us to break keys much faster than it was simply possible uh, before. Uh, this is uh, my short uh, presentation for you today uh, with the implications of uh, AI in the area of cybersecurity, both in the cyber defense as well as in the cyber attack uh, side as well. Thank you uh, for the opportunity to be uh, with you today uh, as part of the co-pair and as part of uh, the esteemed guests that are here like Amar, Jeffrey and many others in which we have participated uh, in many events in the past as well. Looking forward for any questions. Thank you.